The fourth liberal leadership debate will take place in Halifax tomorrow. And you know, Sun News will be covering it live from 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. Eastern. The leadership race is heating up as it enters its final stretch. And joining us now with more on the debate is candidate Joyce Murray from Halifax. She joins us now live over the phone. Thank you so much for joining us today. Well, hi, Sneha. I'm delighted to be on your show. Excellent. Well, I want to get your thoughts going into tomorrow's debate. What's your key goal tomorrow? What is it that you hope to accomplish in this debate? Similar to the, the, the other ones, actually, and that's to present some of my policy ideas. Um, I just have put up on my website another few uh, sets of relatively comp comprehensive policies that all tie into my vision of a sustainable society. Um, so as someone who has that background as an environment minister and a businesswoman, um, I'm in this race to present ideas and that's what I'll be doing. Now, that's very interesting because one of the, uh, your competitors here, Justin Trudeau, has repeatedly said that this is not the place where he wants to discuss policy ideas. I want to get your thoughts on that comment. Do you think Canadians need to know where each candidate stands on policies before they actually cast a vote for a leader for this party? Well, frankly, Sneha, I think every candidate is entitled to have their own strategy. And so I don't see it as my place to judge someone else's strategy. And um, I've, got, uh, I've got a plan uh, for how to have a, an approach to our country that I think is important for Liberals, and that is about decision-making that will lead to, uh, lead to our children and their children having, a, having opportunities that, as I've had in the past. And so my plan is directed towards that. And I also have a political plan, as you probably have heard, uh, that would be about uh, working together with the other progressive parties in, in some of the ridings where the Conservatives win with just a minority of the votes, um, avoid the vote splitting, defeat Stephen Harper, and bring in electoral reform. So I'm being very specific about what I'm presenting. Others uh, may have a different strategy, and that's up to them. Yeah, I want to discuss in uh, greater detail the idea that you have presented in terms of teaming up with the opposition parties in uh, the next election in, in an attempt to overthrow the Conservatives. So does that mean you would be open to a full coalition with the NDP if your party was elected? Well, at this point, what I'm talking about is how we can avoid the vote splitting, because in fact, it's not very democratic if you have, a, for example, Calgary South, where a conservative wins with only 36% of the support in that riding. So I'm, I'm looking for a way that we avoid that vote splitting. And, and I, I, really how I see this is, is an important way to rebuild our party. I mean, think of the challenge the Liberal Party has when 10 years ago or so we had 250,000 members and we're now down to 55,000. So clearly we need change. Uh, we threw open the doors in this leadership race to people who aren't party members, and I'm, and I'm reaching out to them and saying, here's my vision. I'd like to work with you to defeat Stephen Harper so that we can bring back democracy and the environment and other parts of our, uh, of our value system as Canadians. Uh, come and join me. And I think a lot of liberals are actually really appreciating that, as well as people who care about the issues that Stephen Harper has been so damaging on. Yeah, let's talk about that challenge, though. You talked about the challenge for the Liberals to change their third-party status in Canada. If, uh, in your opinion, if the Liberals are not able to change where you are in terms of support in the next election, what does that mean for the future of your party? Well, I, I prefer to see it in the positive. I mean, we did take a step to open our doors up uh, and to welcome people in who are not party members, to have them essentially kick the tires on who we are as a party. Because we, I mean, the Liberal Party has a very strong and proud history in Canada and in, uh, in Atlantic Canada. And uh, I know uh, provincially here in, uh, in, in Nova Scotia is doing very well. And so we want people to take an interest in our race and my view is that that is really a way to uh, bring energy, new interest, and, and new excitements uh, into our party. So that's what I'm doing. 
And at the same time, there is I have a plan to avoid splitting the vote, uh, which can when we split the progressive vote, we've seen what's happened in the last few elections uh, just delivers a victory to conservatives, even though the minority of Canadians uh, uh, wanted Stephen Harper as their prime minister. So let's avoid that. Uh, that's essentially what I'm saying. And it turns out that the majority of our existing Liberal members actually support that cooperation plan as well. So I'm hoping some of the other candidates may, uh, may have second thoughts about their stand on this and may actually join me in this, in this uh, plan. Yeah, and let's just talk about the race for a moment. You certainly have been very clear in setting your policy ideas forward. Yet in all of this, Justin Trudeau still remains the perceived front runner. So I want to get your thoughts. Are you prepared to be more aggressive and challenge Trudeau in this debate? Do you want to win this race? <laughs> uh, Sneha, that, uh, that's not actually my approach. I mean, my, I think the combative, the divisive, gotcha approach to politics uh, is what people see when they watch Question Period or they watch what's going on in Ottawa, and it, it actually turns people off. I think one of the strengths that I bring is not just that I have a track record of leadership in the private sector and in government, uh, it's also that I'm someone that is, uh, has achieved success through bringing people together and cooperating, collaborating, and coming forward with better solutions. So my strategy is not going to be try to try and adopt somebody else's attack style. I think I'm offering a, 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 um, a positive vision of our society for our children. I, I'm, I'm offering a, a wealth of Do you think you can beat Justin Trudeau? I, I apologize for interrupting. And certainly yeah. a lot of people will say politics is getting too nasty. They don't like the attacks. But do you think you can beat Justin Trudeau in this? Yes, I do. I think people will may be surprised on, on April 14th. Um, I think a lot of people that signed up, uh, how, however they signed up, maybe for Justin, maybe for others, are going to take uh, a, a second look at what I'm offering in terms of defeating Stephen Harper, but having a real plan for moving forward, and they're going to say, that's what we want as liberals, and that's what we need as a country. All right, I want to leave it there. Thank you so much, Ms. Murray, for joining us. Looking forward to watching your performance in the debate tomorrow. Thank you again. Well, I'm having fun, Sneha, and thanks for the opportunity. All right, thank you. That was Liberal candidate, uh, le leadership candidate Joyce Murray joining us from Halifax. And a reminder, all of the federal Liberal candidates will be in Halifax this Sunday for the fourth leadership debate. Sun News is your source for all the action. We will have complete coverage and expert commentary. It all starts on Sunday at 12 p.m. Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific.